welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe and well, and a feature that will be a regular this season, the 24-25 season. Let's uh, start at the 1894-95 season. We simply call this City 130, of course, 130 years or 130 seasons, if you like. Uh, you can make classes 131, but 1894-5 to 24-25, that'll do me as 130. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm no mathematician. So this this one, we're looking at uh, Chelsea against City, of course. A look at the old and the new uh, was City at Chelsea, uh, all at the bridge, of course. Uh, they have no other grounds. But we'll talk about the future of the bridge later as well. Yeah, so it's a look back and a look forward as well. And, of course, of interest to City fans and Chelsea fans, I hope. So uh, enjoy this uh, little City 130, uh, his special Chelsea versus City. Uh, this is being recorded on the 12th of August 2024. So all stats and facts as as close as I can get at the time, guys. So depending on when you're watching this, it could be 20 years from now when I'm even I'm not here. Who knows? Anyway, please uh, join me. We have a look back at uh, City at Chelsea uh, from from the very first game. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything City past, present, and as long as I can keep going, I've sort of hinted at that. So, so great to have you on board. Spread the word, guys. We do have memberships now. Uh, my thanks to new members uh, as I'm recording this. Uh, Gary, Kevin, Roy, Vic, and Alan. Come on, where's the girls? Some girl, what needs some ladies? Come on. Uh, get get in there, guys. So my thanks to them. Uh, we do have memberships. Just 99p a month. You get early access to all my vlogs, and some of them, uh, the history History vlogs uh, many many months before I publish them uh, on normal YouTube so uh, if you like your history and you also if you want uh, you can have a copy of the scripts as well where available so if you you know if I've done one on a manager or a player you like you get a, co a hard copy of, um, of the information as well as well as uh, my ugly face on the vlog so Join me for that, guys. I hope you can support me. And if you do check through the channel, you'll see stuff on film and TV as well. Another little passion of mine. Uh, so if you're interested in that, or know somebody might be interested in that who's not in City. I mean, I don't know how they could not be, but there you go. Uh, point them in my direction. Right, let's go back to this. Uh, City at Chelsea. Uh, at the time, the first game we ever played was in the season 19... 07 1908 and a certain city manager was a Harry Newbold he managed City from 1906 to 1912 a great picture of him up there with a great moustache one of these handlebar things uh, his 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 honours while he was at City he got the Division 2 trophy in 1909-1910 uh, this is sadly was that, well sadly not, not sadly because he got the trophy but of course he got us relegated the season before unfortunately but we bounced right back up uh, his record Managing City was played 245, who won 93, drew 61 and lost 91. So not a disaster. 390 goals scored, 376 let in. And our first match up, I said, with Chelsea was back on December the 7th, 1907. And it ended Chelsea 2, City 2. And our scorers that day were James Buchan and William Jones. Uh, round about attendance, these classes 20,000. I have seen it over 40,000 at some sources, but I'll stick with the 20,000. I'll stick with what I know from people like Gary James on, on my little where I get my stats from but uh, if I'm underdoing Chelsea's crowd please forgive me uh, James Buchan the scorers James Buchan was a Scot who played at Wingard for City mainly wearing the number 4 shirt he made 164 appearances between 1904 and 1910 weighed in with 10 goals including this one at Chelsea he made his City debut against Blackburn Rovers a 2-1 win at Hyde Road on March 11th 1905 no I wasn't there don't start his final appearance was on the 15th of April against the Wednesday of course, later to become Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough, a 4-1 defeat. The other goal scorer, William Jones, also better known as Billy Lock Jones, was a Welsh forward who played across the front, generally as an 8, 9 or 10. He made 301 appearances for City, scoring 74 goals between 1903 and, well, till war was suspended uh, for World War I in 1915. He made his City debut on April the 9th, 1904 and scored City's goal in a 2-1 loss to West Brom on the 9th of April 1904 at the Hawthorns. His final appearance was on 24th of April 1915 away to Bradford Park Avenue. Uh, there's an old classic team. And he scored City's only goal again in the 3-1 defeat that day. He's done very well. The 1907-8 season, final position. City finished third, uh, very respectable. Chelsea 13th. There was actually 20 teams in the league at that stage. 
And this, I think, was, as uh, this was City's highest finish under manager Harry Newbold. Uh, let's have a quick look at Chelsea. Their most successful manager. Can you? Do you know who that is? I think it's obvious, isn't it? Jose Mourinho, uh, not one of my favourites. He was there at 2004 to 2007, and again at 2013 to 2015. Uh, he played a, in the, his first stint, 2004 to 07, played 185, 124, that's not bad, 40 draws and 21 losses. His second stint, 13 to 15, he played 136, again not bad, 80 wins, 27 draws, but 29 losses. He won the Premier League three times, 04, 05, 05, 06 and 14, 15. He won the League Cup three times, 04, 05, 06, 07 and 14, 15. And of course, he won the FA Cup in 2007. Uh, as, as many, uh, without question, most would say he was the best Chelsea manager ever and ranked second for all-time manager wins at the club. His first stint at the club saw him take over from Ranieri, of course, Ooh. inheriting a squad ready to challenge for silverware. Chelsea lost just one game in 2004-05 and only conceded 15 goals. They broke the record for the most points in the league at that time with 95. In his initial stint with the club he achieved an impressive 67% win rate, the highest in Chelsea's history. Two Premier League titles, two League Cups, one FA Cup during this first stint. His back-to-back -back Premier League victories marked the only successful title defence in Chelsea's history. Oh, we've done it a few times, haven't we? Mourinho's return in 2013 was hugely anticipated as a legend, uh, Chelsea legend faced difficult task of leading a team that wasn't getting any younger. You know, well, it's very young now and very young and very massive. He managed to lead them to another Premier League title in 2014-15 as well as the League Cup completing, well, a sort of domestic double when we do it. It's not overly important, is it? When other teams do it, it is. Unfortunately, the special one was sacked the following season at Chelsea, who found themselves languishing near the relegation zone amidst growing discontent within the squad. Probably with the fans as well. Mourinho created a legacy, though, that Chelsea fans, old and new, will never forget. Let me know, guys, if you're watching this. Do, do you agree? I just, I just don't like it. Simple as that. But he was never my manager, so why would I? A uh, little information on Stamford Bridge. Yeah, the stadium was originally opened in 1877 and was used by the London Athletic Club until 1905, when new owner Gus Mears founded Chelsea Football Club to occupy the ground. They've got to do something with that, haven't they? Other sports played at the bridge include rugby union, and league baseball speedway women's olympiad took place there midget car racing that's not what i thought it was uh, cricket american football and greyhound racing as four covered all seater stands i think they're officially known as a matthew harding stand east stand the shed end south and west stand uh, any alters of my apologies chelsea have missed missed done that one the future, yes, the future. I do look into the future, get my crystal ball out. Plans are moving forward for a development of Stamford Bridge after Chelsea bought a significant portion of land adjacent to the current stadium and they paid about £80 million to Stoll, a charity which provides housing for veterans. Oh, purchasing a large portion of land will allow Chelsea to redevelop Stamford Bridge rather than finding a new site for their home. There's not that much in that part of London, is there? The Chelsea pensioners were turfed out then, weren't they? <laughs> Sad for them. This doesn't mean they have Absolutely, will stay at Stamford Bridge, but it provides a much more realistic option, of course. Plans are likely to involve the demolition of the current bridge and a new ground rebuilt, with the pitch rotated 90 degrees in the process. The area Chelsea have bought covers two and a half acres approximately. Stoll said they have consulted with their residents before accepting Chelsea's offer, which is not the only one available. Many other companies are interested in buying that land, a valuable piece of real estate in prime London location, hence the high price. The aim is to expand to around a 60,000 capacity stadium, but early suggestions uh, is they can't really start anything until at least 2027. So still a little bit up in the air. Last season, of course, their average, uh, last season they got 751,932 through the gates at the bridge for the 19 Premier League games, an average of 39,576. So the money that extra 20,000 will bring in, plus other things, is would be incredible for them. Chelsea's nickname is the Blues. Uh, a lot of thought went into that of course uh, I prefer the one they had when I started watching football which was simply the pensioners I like that one City League stats at the bridge we've not done very well we played 79 we've won 18 we've drawn 23 but lost 38 it is improving though 89 goals scored 129 against so not a total disaster our biggest victory was back in 1978-79 no I didn't get, didn't get to that one a 4-1 win and our worst defeat uh, a few of you probably went to this one a 6-0 defeat in 2007-2008 
Of course, last season we shared a 4-4 draw, which uh, should have been better. Sponsors are interesting. Yeah, Chelsea had Infinite Athlete and they're still showing on the pre-season tour in America as the sponsors. But at the time of this vlog, uh, they've no official 24-25 sponsors and it's not been finalised yet. And it looks like uh, Internet, uh, Infinite Athlete uh, Infinite Athlete, yeah, may maintain the links, but more as a sleeve sponsor or training kit sponsor or something like that, not necessarily the first team sleeves. Uh, so they've got a new fire inspired Nike home kit. There you are, it'll be on screen for 2024 25. A unique design, they say, taking inspiration from flames. Yeah, because obviously Flames, Chelsea, yeah, obvious, that's the link. As a new era begins, new fire. There you go. So why don't you just stick a phoenix on it as well? It would have been all right. Yep, I'm convinced. Uh, bring bring this new era in after Sunday, though, eh, please, as we're playing them, as I'm recording this on the Sunday. Uh, Chelsea season, last season, of course, sixth place finish. And this really did look beyond them at one stage, but they finished the season as one of the informed teams in the league, winning five and drawing one of the last six games. Of course, that led to Pochettino getting sacked, didn't it? So it didn't do him any good. Odds for this season, 24-25, the 20-1-4 to favourites for the title. Yeah, so you put a quid on, you'll lose a quid. A top four finish, yeah, possible. Six to four, not a bit mean though from the bookies. FA Cup and the Carabao Cups are rated at 10 to one. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, little look. Look at back, look forward, uh, look what might happen. Uh, this City 130 season, 1894-5 to 24-25 special. And I'll be more throughout the season, of course, on Teams Revisit and a slightly different one for our home version so obviously City playing Chelsea at home would be a slightly different format but there'll be a similar principle looking back at history and looking back at what's going on so uh, uh, stick with us guys and if you're watching this before before Sunday the what date is it Sunday the oh I'm losing my dates now 18th Sunday the 18th of August of course check out my Pepsi 11 feature which will look at a, a modern look at how Chelsea are doing or I've done in pre-season who they bought I've, I've got enough time to list them all again um, so we'll have a look at that and I'll predict of course try and predict a Pepsi 11 which will take a big 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 challenge for Premier League match day one of course Thanks for watching, guys. Please, uh, we do have sponsors at the channel at the moment. If you enjoy your uh, films, uh, certainly from the 1990s, 2000 era, some great actors, some great films. Uh, we've got a little shop, uh, Piat6505. We've got an eBay shop. They sell uh, posters, some DVDs as well from probably older than that, some classic DVDs, some classic films. Uh, so if you follow the link in the description in the description below or copy and paste it, you go straight to the shop and. Uh, yeah, uh, some great posters. As I said, you can buy them as gifts or treat yourself. Why not? And you can buy the poster and then buy a frame and give it as a gift to someone. It's just something different, isn't it? It's always always nice to try and find something original to give people. So check out the site. If you do want to order anything, just mention my name or any of my socials. If you're on the socials, they'll be on screen there. And you'll automatically get a 10% refund. So that'll be straight away, even before the stuff's sent out. So... Uh, stuff sent out within 24 48 hours and they do have loads of posters they're not listed yet so if there's anything from those areas you might be interested in just just drop a message or let you know if they've got it or not or at least they can save you after a favorite act however they've got certain films that he starred in or she starred in so uh, give them your support guys and my thanks to piat6505 if you're interested in sponsoring the channel yourself uh, just get in touch uh, through one of my socials or through through youtube and we can have a chat about that there you go guys hope you enjoyed this uh please come back for more and spread the word if you can guys always word of mouth's always a good thing uh, at the moment so if you can do that for me that'd be absolutely wonderful and say thank you for my new members as well that I mentioned earlier on so we meet again I only ever ask one thing don't I? please stay safe everyone even you chelsea fans there's any chelsea fans watching but especially you uh you blue boys of course you sky blue boys you city fans and until the next time come on city bye for now mm -hmm.